Here we are again, YouTube, another Western New York park. This one's new to Winnie and I. She's happy because there's slides and swings. I think that's secretly why she comes out on these metal detecting trips with me. Unless you really want to help me find treasure. Yes? I really want to find pennies and stuff. Pennies and stuff? That's good treasure. All right, I really let's... Yep, let's see what we can find. I'll get finished gearing up here and then we'll go hit the park, okay? Okay. When he's already set up, playing on the equipment, jumping all over the place, I'm gonna start off in the wood chips here. I'll be back with you on the first signal. Here we are, first signal in the park. I was getting an 11 to 13, the favorite thing you wanna find in the wood chips where your kids play are spiral nails. Next signal, I was getting a 19, expecting a penny, but I believe these... I don't think that's an aluminum nail, I think it's the remnants of a rivet that has passed through the chipper that makes these wood chips. Obviously it's not magnetic, so it wouldn't get sorted out. On to the next one. Here is our first mystery target. To me, that looks like a rock, like a piece of granite, a little bit of brown discoloration in there. But I would just think that would be a rock. However, she's totally ringing up. I've never seen anything that I would consider a hot rock like that, so who knows exactly what this is. I mean, she feels dusty like a little granite rock. But we found it. Definitely not the best find so far here. This is about the tenth scrap piece of uh, ground up aluminum. So if we don't find some coins in the wood chips of this tot lot soon, we're going to switch off into the grassy areas. Over here we did find a low 4-5, which is often foil, but can be gold. Be careful, little runner girl. We want to help me see if we find gold? Let's see if I can track it. The pointer is on. Didn't look like she'd be very deep. But because I distracted myself there, might have to re-find her with a detector real quick. Let me turn off the pinpointer, see if we can find it again. Now I'm ringing up a five, six, seven, going a little higher. Straight below the coil there, four arrows down, which definitely means we got to dig. Take some of this material out. And in the wood chips, it's not always easy to dig as they start to clump together. And unfortunately, the small number was just because this is a very small piece of not magnetic, probably more tiny bit of aluminum. This is the first piece of scrap that is not just a uh, shredded aluminum can or a rivet. To me, what that looks like would be if you had a small watch band, the clasp that would go on there. You can definitely see how it's stamped a couple of pieces on the bottom or it might hold on to the uh, whatever material, your leather or rubber band. But still trash target. Here is our first target. Just started on the edge, maybe two feet away from the barrier that has the wood chips. And you know this would be old as this is a complete beaver tail. You know, the old uh, aluminum cans used to open this way. We don't like these because they often ring up like a ring because of the shape of, you know, the handle part here. But you often don't find them still attached together like that. Still, another trash find. Here is a public service announcement. Again, you should always wear gloves 
because you might not be able to tell what I just picked up, but I can. This looks like the end of a fluorescent light bulb. I see the two prongs that would normally stick straight out the back here. And all that is disguised glass. See a little piece right here, and you know those have really thin glass. So we will search for a trash can to get this thrown away real quick. It was about uh, four inches in the ground there all by itself. Another quick tip. You see this anywhere. You know, obviously a bench a little bit further away. Right next to that, what does that normally tell you? That tells you there were probably parents sitting on that bench watching their kids play, relaxing. But when you sit on a bench like that, you often have change fall out of your pockets or other things. So I'm going to do a quick sweep around there, let you know if I find anything. Yet another one. Remember, your kids are playing. You can hear Aloin over there. See her at the top of the stairs. She's only 20 feet away from me, but what am I finding in the ground here? But busted tops of bottles with a very sharp point. The kind of stuff that kids messing around in the dirt or running around, they're going to cut up their feet or Anything else on that? Super dangerous stuff. I'm just happy to get it cleaned out of the park. Almost didn't bother to record this one. I am right next to, obviously, a bunch of tennis courts, right on the very edge, and I was getting a 31-32. That would lead me to believe it's probably a quarter. So I'm out here searching. I find the plug, and I can already see a handful of coins stuck together. There may be more. See what we got here. We have a nickel. 19, probably 90 something. We have a quarter. You can tell that's one of the newer state quarters. A penny, 98. A second quarter. It's a newer state one. And a third quarter, also a newer state one. So out of that one hole, we have 75, 80, 81 cents. But of course, you always want to double check. That seems to be all my signals. But you gotta love when you get something like that happening. Coin spill. Here's our fourth quarter of the day. She is modern. Looks like a year 2000 New Hampshire quarter. Now you see I'm very close to the walking path. You always got to remember, tip from me, if somebody's running up and down the sidewalk, coins are going to bounce off the sidewalk only a short distance into the grass. And that's where they will live until someone like me with a metal detector comes and digs them up. Next target appears to be a dime, 1976. See how many more we find just walking around the edge of the sidewalk here. We have a mini coin spill. I just pulled out an 80s penny and another 80s dime, only about an inch away from each other. I'll keep searching, see if I got anything else in here. We were foiled again, expecting a penny down there, but we have an ancient old English 800 screw-on bottle cap. Here's a first for me. I was getting a 34, which is usually something iron, but this is going to be a 1977 Eisenhower silver dollar. Eagle back here. Looks like it'll be one year away from being the uh, bicentennial. And I'm definitely not going to complain about finding something like that. Right after the silver dollar, we have another quarter. This will be an older eagle back, but I believe just in the 90s. I'll take it. <laughs> 